So, free winner last night on the White Sox and James Shields, who continues his good pitching for the Pale Hose as they deliver as the big-time home dog against the suddenly slumping Cubs. And a free selection coming your way in just a moment on the Yankees and Astros for this Wednesday card. But first, guys, I am ticked off, and I'm sure you have been in the same position as me. I'm traveling once more. Listen, my Blue Cross uh, Blue Shield rates uh, going up effective August 1st, just a couple of days from now. And listen, with my health problems I've had over the past 10 years, I'm willing to pay anything. And I'm pretty sure Blue Cross Blue Shield knows that I'm willing to pay anything. And that's just another reason that the rates have gone up. Had a little bit of a dip in rates a few years ago with the advent of Obamacare, but that savings has long since been eradicated. Bottom line is this, it's like death and taxes. Uh, you know, it's something, a rate increase with your health insurance is something you can count on. So me personally, this will make you sick, guys. Me personally, for my family, and I have really good health insurance. I pay a lot for it. Uh, it went up a little over $450 a month. My monthly bill is $2,356. Yeah, I thought that would make you fall over. So for that type of money, and even before it went up $450, I expect good service, okay? I expect things to go on without a hitch. So I happen to be traveling. Went to the doctors this morning, been sick for a little bit, and I have to go get some x-rays and stuff. So I happen to be outside of my normal service area. So I go to the website, right? I'm looking for an out-of-service provider. I enter in my code for my card. Website provides absolutely nothing. Says it doesn't recognize my card. Says it doesn't recognize my service area. Great. So then I have to call the 800 number on the back of the card. Okay, no problem. Somebody answers the phone. They give me a, uh, a provider in the area that I happen to be in right now. And I say, great. So that means everything's covered. Yes, it's a uh, in-service network person. But they can't tell me if the service provided is going to be covered. For that, I have to call another 800 number. Right. So think about this. You call the 1-800 number to find out if they happen to be an in-network facility. But you have to call the other 800 number to find out if that in-network facility is actually going to be covered on your plan. Does this make sense? Is this why my plan just went up $450? Oh, no, that's not why. Because your website isn't working because I've got to call two 800 numbers. And then when I call the second 800 number, that woman says... Can you hold three to five minutes because my system has to reboot? Three to five minutes turned into more like eight or nine minutes. Now, mind you, this is an 800 number. So, again, they're footing the bill. You and I are paying that bill. That's another reason my bill just went up. My monthly invoice, almost $450. And after 17 minutes, I find out that, yes, it's going to pay the bill probably going to go up another $700 a month next year on my renewal. Anyway, let's get to your free selection here. And, um, you know, I looked at this Yankees Astros contest, you know, the Astros had just been on an absolute roll, uh, entered this series on Monday night, coming off a three game sweep of the angels over the weekend. In fact, I had a best bet on the, uh, Astros when they pounded the angels 13 to three on Sunday, they scored a total of 20 runs in the final two games of the series, but then the Yankees and their pitching came in and have totally throttled this Houston attack. But the Astros had been on a hell of a roll overall, especially dumb. I think they had won like 20 out of 26 or 20 out of 27 before the Yankees came to town. Well, the Yankees have taken the first two games in the series, uh, two to one on Monday night, then six to three last night. And the Yankees offense, which hasn't been that good this season, banged out 13 hits as well. They've now won eight of their last 10 games. And I looked at this game initially. I thought, Tanaka, how can I go against Tanaka, considering that he has the best earned run average in road outings this season? Yeah. The best road ERA in the major leagues, not just in the American League, in the major leagues with a 1.50 earn run average. Four and one record, 1.50 ERA, and nine road starts this season. And he's coming off a strong start, even though he got a no decision at home against San Francisco after pitching six innings of four hit shutout ball. Plus, the Yankees have won each of his last seven starts, including each of his last three on the road. It just seems like a no brainer. And you know, guys, as I always like to say, there are no guarantees in gambling. Look it up in the dictionary. Guaranteed 
and gambling are not on the same page. And when it looks too good to be true, that's when it's not. It's like those 800 shyster salesmen with the thick New York accents that are still the dinosaurs of this industry, that give it a black eye. The guys who have been around since the 70s, hawking their wares on 800 numbers, telling you everything's absolutely free. When you hear somebody say absolutely free in this business, well, it's kind of like when they tell you the sky is blue, make sure you look up twice to double check and confirm that it's not falling as well. Uh, it just seems too good to be true. And then I started looking at Lance McCullers, a guy who I rode a lot last year in his rookie season for the Astros, but a guy who this year, uh, I just, I didn't ride him early in the season. Of course, he started the season injured. I just hadn't really followed him. But then I started looking at his numbers. You know, in eight home starts this year, he's four and two. But more importantly, he has a 2.37 earned run average. And of course, last year, he made 10 home starts in the regular season at Minute Maid Park. Four and one record, but more importantly, a 1.86 earned run average. Four July starts, 2.22 ERA against the Angels at home on Friday. Ten strikeouts. Four hits, one run allowed, eight innings. And that's a season high in terms of number of innings worked. His last seven starts, he's only allowed nine earned runs and 36 and two-third innings. So I think this is a situation where you take the Astros in double revenge and you go with Houston. Now, look at the number. Everything I told you, right? Tanaka. Best road ERA in the majors. Yankees have won each of his last seven starts, including three in a row. Yankees have won eight out of ten. They've taken the first two games in the series. Is the line telling you something? Is it kind of troubling that the Yankees are an underdog in this contest? That's where I think you buck the trend. It's a sucker's play to take New York, and that's why I'm going to go with Houston. Of course, also keep in mind that this is a complimentary play, and I could be wrong. But anyway, I like the Houston Astros. But hey, I was on the White Sox last night, right? They were a nice dog, and they delivered. So let's go with the Houston Astros, minus dollar twenty-five. That's going to be your complimentary play. And I will talk to you again tomorrow when we do this one more time.